Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, and welcome to another Mystical Monday. I uh, have another, I think this was a dream. Uh, yeah, so I've titled this, so I created the blog post as usual, and this one I called Changing Garments. And I definitely have to reference the notes here um, because I've been writing and recording so much and uh, I want to make sure that I'm not kind of mixing things up. <laughs> um, all right, so January 5th, 2020, uh, I, in this particular dream, I was aware that I was shopping for a dress for a wedding. Uh, and in one like brief scene, I was, uh, I was naked and in the next scene and they flip like real quick in the next scene, I was dressed in my old military, uh, air force blues. So air force blues are, they called it a uh, mess dress. So it was a long, uh, a long blue skirt with a slit in it and, uh, like a nice white ruffled shirt with a blue bow tie and then a blue crop jacket. So a uh, mess dress is what you wore uh, to formal events uh, in, the, in the Air Force. So uh, one scene I was naked, the next scene I was in my Air Force blues. And uh, while I was still asleep and dreaming, I heard, wake up, uh, which, so I didn't, full, I didn't fully wake up. I heard wake up, but I didn't fully wake up. Um, and I was, I was very aware in the dream. Um, and obviously I did, when I heard wake up, I, I wasn't fully awake, but I kind of, again, I was aware. Uh, so I would, but, so I was in a drowsy state. Um, and I remember the dream and why I woke up. And I, the reason I woke up, but not fully was because I heard wake up. Uh, but then I fell back asleep. And then at some point I heard the doorbell, which wasn't unusual because I, quite often I hear doorbells and knocks uh, while I'm sleeping. And especially within the last year, I've heard that so I've heard quite a lot. Uh, so I just, now I just, I assume that it's indica an indication of awakening. I'm like, okay. Well, God's just trying to wake me up for some reason. That's just kind of how I view it now. Uh, so anyway, I had fallen back asleep. Uh, and let's see. When I heard the doorbell, I knew I was being woken up. So I woke up and I stayed awake for, uh, for a little bit. I stayed awake until about 7.30 a.m. And, uh, I should note, it wasn't, there was nobody at my doorbell. It wasn't the actual doorbell. Um, I knew it wasn't when I heard it while I was dreaming, but I always check just in case, cause you never know one of these days it might actually be the doorbell. <laughs> uh, so I checked just to be sure, but there was nobody at the door and there were no packages at the door. Uh, so then I had fallen back asleep. And then when I woke up the following morning, I probably woke up at like 8.30, 9 o'clock. Uh, the first thought that came to my mind was changing garments. And I don't know. I think maybe that's because I was searching for a wedding dress. One scene I was naked. One scene I was in Air Force Blues. But yet I was searching for a wedding dress. So changing garments just came to mind. I really didn't think about it too much. It's just that's just a thought that kind of came to me. Uh, so when that thought came to me, I instinctively knew that there was a correlation um, to these garments uh, that were in, like the human body. Um, but again, I chose not to to try to look up any meaning or anything like that. So then that was kind of the end of it, right? But then as I was writing this out, like this, uh, the 
blog post, right, containing the information and the dream. Uh, I didn't write down the date that I was writing out this blog post, but I've been, I think I've been uh, writing out the blog post I started a couple of weeks ago and uh, started kind of started writing it out and putting my notes together in a format that actually makes sense to put up on a blog because usually with my dreams I just uh, sometimes I sometimes I jot stuff down and I have to do it so quickly so I don't forget that uh, it's just like random notes and stuff so I always go back and kind of uh, format everything for my blog so uh, so I had the dream what did I say I had it in January right so it's July now is when I was putting the blog post together. So I made a note here that as I was writing the blog post, I thought about how Adam and Eve were in the garden of uh, in the garden of Eden, and the f and I thought back to the I thought about the fact that we're that this body we're in is a garment of a flesh and blood, right? And uh, and then the thought came to me about something Neville mentions um, in regards to marriage according to scripture. And he uh, mentions it in one of his lectures. And the lecture is called Redemption. And here's the explanation. Redemption is the wedding between visible history and salvation history. And when they meet, they create a new being and one person who is Paul, who is Jesus Christ. So, I don't, I mean, I, like, I get what that means. Uh, our visible history, the things we know to be real, the things we experience in this human form, right? And then salvation history, scripture, right? What's written about salvation in history. Uh, the psychological drama that Neville talks about, how everything is symbolism and um, there's a lot of vision and stuff in the in the Bible. So anyway, uh, I did I didn't nothing else really came to me like an exact meaning of the dream, but again I was looking for a dress for a wedding, and this is not the first dream that I've had that involved. Uh, a wedding. I think I've had one one other one, maybe two. Definitely one other one. Uh, so again, I often will have dreams that will have a similar uh, uh, something similar in them, usually in patterns of two or three. So far I haven't had like four dreams that involved uh, like a wedding or a toy soldier or Lions. So far, it's only been two or three. That's been the pattern. But, uh, I was, again, I was searching for a wedding dress. I was naked in one scene. Military blues in the next. Uh, changing garments. So I don't know. And because I've been going through this awakening process, like really aware of it now, uh, what I'm going through, and really kind of waking up to the realization about awareness and consciousness and, and everything else. And um, I'm sure there's um, some meaning there, some correlation, but again, I, I, I didn't receive any other insight, so I can't share that. So I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, it'll unfold as it should. And if. Uh, you know, if I have a, another dream that's similar or involves a wedding, maybe I'll gain more insight. Who knows? But uh, that was that was this particular dream. So I'm going to end the video here. And uh, like I said, I've said in the past few videos, and sometimes I forget to mention it, but uh, if you've had mystical dreams or experiences or even dreams that you don't think are mystical all dreams have have meaning and uh 
some sort of symbolism to them. So if you want to share, feel free to do that. Uh, if any insight comes to me, I can share that with you. It's, it's happened. Uh, it's happened a couple of times where uh, somebody has asked me about their dream or I've been in a Facebook group or on a YouTube channel, like in comments and somebody will mention a dream and then, and then immediately uh, insight will come to me about the symbolism in that person's dream. Uh, it's happened twice. Uh, it doesn't always happen. It, you know, it doesn't always happen with me. So if you want to share something and then if some sort of insight comes to me, again, we're all individuals. We all, the, our dreams mean something different to all of us. But uh, uh, if something comes to me, uh, I'll share it. And if it resonates, then you know, it resonates. So, uh, yeah. All right. Give this video a thumbs up if you feel so inclined to do so. And then hit the subscribe button. If you're not following me, I would greatly appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.